what do we eat when we're children because we're picky, in college because we're poor, and as adults because we find it comforting. That's right, mac and cheese. But with all the cream, butter, and cheese in it, it's, it's bad for you. And as we get older, we become a lot more sensible about those types of things. With that in mind, I've recreated your mom's mac and cheese, all the comfort, less than half the calories, and zero cholesterol. So stick around, won't you? My name's Sean Sanders. Welcome to Appleseed. This is gonna seem like an extremely strange list of ingredients for mac and cheese, but please just bear with me. I promise you this is a creamy, comforting, and super satisfying mac and cheese that your mom would be proud of. All right, let's get into it. Here's what you're gonna need for my vegan mom's mac and cheese. So we've got some onions and garlic for some base flavor. The orange color will come from our carrots. The creaminess will be thanks to cashews. Find raw and unsalted if you can. The cheesy flavor will come from nutritional yeast. And of course, what's mac and cheese without macaroni? I like to use the elbow mac, just like mom, but you could easily use penne or rigatoni if you wanted to. So I've got a medium sauce pot here over medium heat with just enough coconut oil to coat the bottom, maybe one teaspoon. We'll go ahead and add our onions, garlic, and carrots. And we'll saute that over medium heat for about five minutes. So it's been five minutes. Our vegetables are looking nice and tender and fragrant. Now it's time to add our water. We'll bring that to a simmer, cover it, and let that cook for 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's talk about nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is usually described as having a cheesy or nutty flavor. It comes from a strain of yeast called Saccharomyces cerevisiae. To produce it, the yeast is typically cultured for several days in some sort of growth medium, usually glucose. It's then harvested, dried, and packaged. One two tablespoon serving of nutritional yeast contains nine grams of complete protein, four grams of fiber, and is a significant source of complex B vitamins. It's also sometimes fortified with vitamin B12. You can find it in the bulk section of most natural or health food stores, or of course, online. So it's been 20 minutes, our veg is nice and tender. I've loaded everything into the carafe of our blender. Now we're just gonna go ahead, we'll add our cashews. Our nutritional yeast. And of course, we'll season liberally with salt and pepper. Now we'll just take this whole thing for a spin on high for about one minute. So our cheese sauce is done. We've just gone ahead and added that right back into our sauce pod. As you can see, it's thick, it's rich, it's creamy, and it bears a remarkable resemblance to a processed cheese sauce. We'll let that simmer for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, get a pot with water on and start cooking some mac. So we've cooked up our mac, drained it, and put it back in the pot. Now all we have to do is add the sauce and mix. As you can see from the simmering process, the uh, cheese sauce has thickened up slightly. Look at that. 
just like mom used to make. So everything's ready, it's time to plate up. For this, I like to use one of those old timey corningware dishes like you'd find at your grandmother's house. Makes it feel a little bit more like mom made it. Nothing too fancy here. We're just gonna fill this baby right up. And there we have it. Mom's mac and cheese made vegan. Let's review what we like about mac and cheese. It's quick, it's cheap, it's comforting, and even picky eaters love it. I'd say that's hitting all the notes. And with healthy, whole ingredients like these, every kid's dreams come true. They can eat as much mac and cheese as they want every day, and you can feel good about it. If you like this recipe, you can find it in full on my Facebook page. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, my name's Sean Sanders, and this is Appleseed.